Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're going to be talking about Chromium on Linux Mint without devolving into the Snap package. Well, let's just go ahead and get the very brief information out of the way at the front end because I don't want this to devolve into another Snap video. We want to look at uh, various solutions. The, the bottom line is the Linux Mint developers don't like the implementation of Snap, and so you have to put in, you have to override the system to allow snap which is easy to do it's actually one line of code allows you to do it uh, but what ended up happening is the decision that i do not agree with is that they did not give us any installable version of chromium out of the box i think that they should have uh, at least done that they give us a dummy program explaining why they've disabled snap but they've not given us the ability to install chromium what we're going to do is we're going to look at the documentation that they did give us and we are going to see if this is going to be sufficient to get uh, Chromium running on Linux Mint 20. Now we have several options. Uh, of course, if you're on 18 or 19, it's Chromium browser. There are some, uh, some PPAs. You can do the uh, beta PPA. So this is before it is released. So this is basically bleeding edge. We have the development version of Chromium. These are another PPAs. So as root, you're just going to add these to the lines. We're going to talk about what that means here. There's also the ungoogled Chromium. So if you want to have the ungoogled Chromium, which might be for you privacy advocates, that might be a better option for you. Uh, that's one I might want to give a try. The other method is to use apt pinning with Buster. Basically get us the Chromium version on Debian, which Linux Mint and Ubuntu are based on. And uh, they do give us some codes there. Of course, they do tell us there are alternatives. Google Chrome is easy enough to install. You have Firefox. Or uh, if you want to, you can actually get Chromium in the Snap Store, and we can show you how to do that as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to jump on over to the distribution itself. We're going to boot into this uh, into the new freshly installed Linux Mint 20 and we're going to look at this and see if we can easily get Chromium installed. So let's go ahead and dive on over to the system. All right, so here we've landed on the login screen. Let's enter my super secret password that's definitely not 123. And uh, we're going to land in on the desktop and we're going to go ahead and have a look at the software center and see what type of Chromium stuff that we have. Now, again, to be clear, um, I completely agree with uh, their purposes for blocking uh, the snap packages, but I disagree with creating a basic dummy package and not giving us any installable version of Chromium. So I'm going to both agree and disagree with Linux Mint choices here. Um, overall, this is, I think I actually have my system set up with the old traditional panel. It just doesn't look like it. So, all right. So if we come on in over here, um, if we want to go ahead and do a search first, let's go ahead and just do a search for web browsers. Let me close Firefox that I started for some reason. Eventually we will need it, but let's go ahead and search for browsers. So we have Firefox. We have Chromium browser. You can see is an empty package. We have Midori. We have Epiphany. Here's links, e-link. Um, I don't know if we have a flat pack or anything for Chrome, so I'm pretty sure we don't, although they do make a deb package available. So we don't have that uh, available. Now, if we go and look at, once again, let's look at Chromium and just look at the Chromium empty package. This is the part where I wish that they gave us something better here. So what they did give us here is a web page, which unfortunately we can't copy and paste it. So I'd actually have to manually type this guy in. It is linked to the Chromium page though, so we're going to show you how to find it. They basically explain why it's in there. This is the part I'm going to disagree with, uh, with the Linux Mint team on. And so let's go ahead and um, go into our Firefox and we're going to look at the basic Linux Mint page. So if we just click on one of the releases for now, then we're going to see, oh, look at this. This is the thing I've been warning people about. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, got it. Turns on DNS over HTTPS. Disable, thank you. That's a service that should never be enabled by default. 
So with that, uh, inside of here, we can see the release notes for Linux Mint 20. And you can see really quickly, they do discuss this debate. On this guy here, they're working on a new user's guide, and this is going to tell you how to install Chromium. This is one we looked at earlier. Uh, but the, what we have here is the one I actually want to do is we want to go in and go into Debian Buster. So what we're going to do is we need to open up a terminal here. We can do this through the GUI, but it's actually going to be easier to do in the terminal. My apologies, I have a cat that's jumping in the background who's being very hilarious. I have no idea what he's doing. All right, so inside here, the first thing we need to do is we need to be as root. So we can either just do sudo or we can just do um, su and drop into a uh, root terminal. Oh, we can't do that, or I had the thing incorrectly. Let me try that one instead. There we are. Su is not uh, enabled on Linux Mint. Um, so sudo dash i will get us the same thing. So now what we need to do is we need to go into our um, Etsy and apt. Uh, whoa, Etsy and apt, not Etsy and Etsy. All right, so inside of Etsy and apt, what we see in here is we see the sources list uh, .d. That's a, going to be a directory. Inside of here, we have our official package repositories. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new list called Debian Chromium dot list. So just do nano and then Debian dash Chromium dot list. And then this is going to give us a new file. You can see that on there at the bottom there where it says new file down there. All right, so what we're going to do is I actually want to just copy these lines of code in. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and paste these guys in. So this is going to give us, uh, this is going to give us, basically it's going to add the Buster repositories. All right, so we're going to exit out of this guy here. So we're going to exit out. Do you want to save it? The answer is yes. Write to Debian Chromium dot list. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to back up a directory, and you can see that we have a preferences D. So we're going to go into the preferences D folder, and inside of here, you see that no snap file. That no snap file is the one that's preventing snap from installing. If you simply delete that file or open it up and remove the three lines of code, snap works exactly as it does on any other system. That's the only file that's preventing it. Uh, let's go ahead and just have a brief look at that real quick. Um, it's a little off of our um, little off of our tutorial here, but you can see it's simply three lines of code. What this is doing is it's basically saying you cannot install just any old snap. You can install it if you call the specific version, but if you just come in here and comment it out by putting these guys here, then you can simply update your system and snap will work exactly as is. We're going to go ahead and exit. We're not going to save this particular file. What we are going to do, continuing in on our tutorial, we are going to create a new file, so nano, and we're going to call this debian-chromium.pref. Once again, you see it says new file, and I'm just going to copy this file here. All right, so they give us the information. I'm just going to copy it. Now, if you're copying from a website, uh, control C, and then to copy it into the terminal, it need to do shift control V. All right, so what's this guy doing here? Well, what this is going to do is it's going to, first and foremost, it's going to look at any package that you're doing, and then it's going to prevent you from installing anything other than the basic Chromium browser. So any Chromium browser is going to be able to install. Nothing else from Debian is going to be able to install. All right, so we're going to exit out of here. We're going to save this particular file as Chromium Pref. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to run some commands. So these commands are going to add some server keys, and then we're going to update, and then it's going to remove the Chromium browser, and then we should then be able to install Chromium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these guys. I'm going to hit exit to drop out of our root access. So now we are non-root, 
And I can do these one by another. I should be able to just control V and run all the commands at the same time. So we're just going to control V, let those do its thing. It's now purging out the old version. Uh, we're now on the update. Then we're going to purge the old Chromium browser. Purge Chromium browser, and now it says it is, um, now it's sitting here at the apt install Chromium. Hit my enter, hit yes. And in theory, we should get Chromium. Let's see if we actually do. Do we have dependency hell or not? The next question is this the latest and greatest version? For me personally, I don't care if it's the latest and greatest. That's me. Uh, some people do. You're not going to have an unsecured version. This is, it's not like they're sitting back with a, with a security vulnerability. It's just that Debian doesn't roll new versions all the time. So this, in theory, will give us uh, our Chromium. We're going to wait for it to finish, and then we'll go ahead and check if we have Chromium installed. Hit exit. Chromium web browser. There we have it. So there is how to get our Chromium web browser installed, simply following their commands. Very quick. You can see that, I mean, is that the most user-friendly? No. I would probably argue that maybe Linux Mint should have put that repository and those keys in. I will agree with that. Uh, but nevertheless, this did give me the ability to install Chromium. And uh, let's check out, we are running version 80. Uh, what is the current version of Chromium? Somebody let me know in the comments and I will update the video. Now, the other factor is let's go ahead and play with that snap version now, shall we? So let's go back in and uh, let's go back into as root. And we're going to go into our apt preferences again. And let's go into our preferences D and let's pull up that nano no snap file. Now you can delete the file. That's actually the code that they give you on the Linux Mint to do is just simply delete it. I actually would just prefer to go in and just comment these out because if you do want to revert your system back, just come back in, reopen the file and remove those comments. All right. So there we have it. We've done that. Let's exit out of here and let's do sudo apt update now chromium browser since we ran that one code we should not be able to install chromium browser um, let's go ahead and give it a try sudo apt install because we've kind of purged it unless maybe it's back after an update do chromium browser and you can see what it's doing is it's, uh, let's see what it did there. I uh, need to get this application, Linux upstream. Okay, so what that actually did is that actually installed the dummy package for Chromium browser. That's not what we wanted. Let's do uh, sudo apt install snapd. So now we're just installing snap. I mean, that's how easy it is if you want to use snaps on Linux Mint. Just pull that file out. And this will actually en enable us to run two simultaneous versions of Chromium. That is an advantage of your snaps, flat packs, app images, is to be able to run multiple versions at the same time. All of those will apply. All right, so snap is done. So now we're just going to do snap install. I believe it's called Chromium Browser. It could just be called Chromium, but we're going to try Chromium Browser. It is just Chromium, not Chromium browser. So now what we're going to do is it's setting up Snap, setting up Snapd, and it's going to be installing the Chromium browser via the Snap command as well. So this is going to take a few moments. So we will come back when this is done. All right, so that says it is done. So let's go ahead and exit there. And if we check our menu, this one we might actually have to um, we might actually have to log out and log back in for the menu to update. I think there's a way to update the menu. I I can't remember exactly 
what it is, but log out, log in pretty quick. Okay, so now we have Chromium browser. Um, we have Chromium web browser. Um, this one, I think, is the snap package. We'll see which one's the snap package. All right, so the one here on our right, this is the actual deb one from the repository. I can tell because it's actually following my theming. This one over here is the snap package, which is not following my theming. Okay, so our current version about Chromium. So version 83 versus version 80. So we are a little bit behind on the Debian version. It's not going to be security vulnerabilities, but it's not going to have the latest versions. It depends on if that matters to you or not. But there are anyway two ways of getting Chromium installed on your system. I don't particularly find that their tutorial is difficult. And so um, there we have it, folks. There is how we can easily install Chromium on top of Linux Mint. In my opinion, I agree with their excluding the snaps from installing automatically via apt because some people don't want it, but I disagree with them leaving Chromium out altogether or packaging a dummy pack. I think it'd be better if they just went ahead and installed and put in everything to put the, um, the uh, Debian version of Chromium in there. It's And honestly, there's other distros do similar things. For example, MX Linux... Um, for MX Linux, they use the regular Firefox instead of the Firefox ESR that comes with Debian. And uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition, also based on Debian, still uses Firefox ESR. So it's possible uh, to go ahead and do that. Those are my thoughts, but here we gave you two ways to install Chromium on Linux Mint 20 with their documentation. That documentation will be linked in the description down below. Thanks for coming along. And also want to thank you for the uh, supporters who uh, support the channel, both through Patreon and through Think Life Media. Links to those are down below. And uh, thank you guys. And uh, you will have your uh, name on the end of the screen there. So thanks for coming along, guys. And we will catch you next time.